Okay, so we're going to have another look at a question from the paper one exam, um, looking at development, which is section two. Um, so this question asks you to explain one negative impact of rapid econo economic development on human health. Um, this question is worth three marks. So what that is called is a chain of reasoning question. There will be three chain of reasoning questions throughout your exam. One in topic one, one in topic two, and one in topic three. Um, these questions are special because they are only asking you for one thing to be explained. However, there were three marks. So that means you need to make your point and then develop that point twice. So you need to say why and then say why again. So develop that same reason. If you give two different reasons, you will only be limited to the marks for one of those reasons that you have given. So you need to make sure you have enough explanation and enough development to get the points in this answer. So this question is asking you about one impact of negative, or sorry, explain one negative impact of rapid economic development on human health. So you are to explain one impact of rapid economic development, and then you need to develop that point twice. So I've given you some different impacts of rapid economic development. So you need to think about why this might happen as a country develops rapidly. There's other reasons you can give as well. You then need to explain how that is going to affect um, human health and why that is going to take place. So think about the development of those points. So I want you to pause the clip now for me, have a go answering this question, give yourself three minutes, time yourself, and then we will come back and have a look over the mark scheme for this question. So if you pause that clip now for me. Okay, so welcome back. You should have um, had a go answering that question. So we're now going to go through the mark scheme. Um, so one impact of rapid economic development is poor services in slums. Um, so this will lead to water pollution is caused by the unsafe disposal of, disposal of sewage. So there's no sewage disposal in our slum areas. This causes cholera, a waterborne disease. So you've made your point. You've explained why that has happened. And then you have developed that point and linked it back to your human health. So your disease such as cholera. Um, your next one you could talk about is increased our car ownership. So as a country develops rapidly, more people are going to own cars. This can lead to air pollution, which is your development of that point, which causes diseases such as heart disease, lung disease, bronchitis or asthma. You need to be specific which, with which type of pollution is caused. So if you're saying this causes pollution, you wouldn't get the marks. You need to be specific as to whether it is air, water pollution um, or what type of pollution is taking place. And then finally, another option you could talk about, and a major problem in urban areas is air pollution caused by increased industrial activity. So your areas are going to be industrializing rapidly. This may cause health problems such as heart disease, lung disease, bronchitis, asthma. Be careful not to make the same point. So this one here is the same as this one um, here. So obviously don't make the same point twice. So you would need to develop your ideas fully to get the free marks for that question. Make sure you have that second piece of development because most people are limited to about two marks here because they don't further develop their points. Thank you for watching today's video. If you enjoyed the clip and found it useful for all your geography revision needs, please hit the like button below. If you want access to more content like this, more revision playlists, more exam technique and feedback, please subscribe to the channel. Regular content will be added and updated to help support you on your GCSE journey.